very bad. So if you live near where Hurricane Irma's hitting you, well, where I live in South Carolina, we are getting hit by the Hurricane Irma. It just got updated a couple minutes ago when that happened. So we, I'm gonna show you the weather and see what it looks like during Hurricane Irma. Because right now in Puerto Rico, they have a category five at this point. And it's pretty bad for them. And we also have Hurricane Josh right behind Irma. Well, here we go. Officials urging residents there to leave earlier if they're actually able to. In Broward County, Florida, they'll start to evacuate coastal areas beginning tomorrow afternoon. And not just in Florida, they're making preparations in other locations. Governors in South Carolina and Georgia both declaring states of emergency for parts of their state ahead of Hurricane. Okay. Second thought. We're all going to die. Are still at 185 miles per hour. What can we expect in a place like, say, San Juan, Puerto Rico? 40 mile per hour gust now through tomorrow morning, 75 mile per hour gust through the night. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area oh. on the north side of Puerto Rico. So, Puerto Rico sits right here. You can see where the eye is. It's actually very close to Puerto Rico right now, but. It's going to go north of the island. That's a good thing in this in this sense, but certainly northerly winds are going to be a very big issue for us as we go through the night. Here's the set. Hurricane Irma. Five mile per hour winds now setting the Atlantic record for longest duration. It's a category five. Winds. Incredible, right? Pressure at 914 millibars moving yes. west northwest at 16 miles per hour. So there has been today a little bit of a shift off to the north. It's a category five in Puerto Rico. That's bad. Pretty bad. You can see just how close that eye is now to uh, uh, San Juan and to the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands hit pretty hard today. Puerto Rico's right here. Uh, the Virgin Islands here. Just 58 miles, the eye from San Juan, the capital of Puerto Rico right now. So our conditions will get worse over the next couple hours. And as wow. this passes through the night, expect conditions to improve. How about the gusts that we're seeing right now in San Juan? Gusts to 56 miles per hour. In a buoy a little bit closer to the eye, winds at 43. But you can see the farther you get away from the eye, the winds are significantly lower, 17 here, then over towards, say, uh, Maguace Islands here, only 21 mile per hour gusts. We have flash flood warnings in effect. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for our area. Now it's got a pretty good uh, track on this. Then you can see the track goes north of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, then impacting by tomorrow night. We think the southern Bahamas here, Turks and Caicos, could be getting hit as well. And then by Friday, sliding just north of Cuba by this model depiction, maybe the eye becoming slightly more righty. Could we be potentially looking at a little bit of weakening? We hope so, considering that that track gets very, very close then to mainland United States. A lot of rain with this for sure. There are some areas here uh, where we could see upwards of two feet of rain. Flooding is likely to happen uh, for many locations because of this. And there's a look at your forecast track. A lot of confidence we think short term here, especially the next two days. See, we're that, all going to die. It's passed over where we live. Is squarely within that cone. Hurricane specialist Brian Norcross for a little bit. <gasps> where? Go on. Oh, Obviously, die! Hasn't at all here in the last 24 hours, and 
There has been some shift in the models here, but this is just a tough go here now through the next landfall. I think this is the biggest hurricane threat to Florida in decades, bigger than Hurricane Andrew. Right. This is a bigger threat than Hurricane Andrew. I want to emphasize that because this Well, I think that's going to be it for tracking Hurricane Irma for today. We will find much more information tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.